As there are only 7 level 5s amongst nearly 2 million espers in Academy City, we have been treated to many rare sightings of level 5s in the Toaru franchise, and occasionally we see multiple level 5s on screen at the same time, usually trying to kill each other. Yeah, the level 5s generally don't get on with each other too well. However, there have been instances where the level 5s have appeared on screen all at once, or teamed up, which is what I want to talk about in this video. Now, there have been instances where all level 5s were present apart from the mysterious number six that have occurred in non-canon. First, in the second opening of Imaginary Fest, which is the Toaru Index and Railgun Gacha game, six of the seven level fives can be seen fighting Offerness. The hype was unreal when I saw this for the first time, and I did record my reaction. The link is in the description if you are interested to watch. Even though this doesn't actually happen in the story, it definitely makes me wish there was a time with all level fives teaming up to take on a boss like this. Next, in the parody manga, Toaru Aru Idol No Accelerator. Yes, you heard that right. Accelerator became the number one idol in the world. Get fucked, Love Live and Idol Master. They are no match for Accelerator's Love Vectors. In this manga, six of the seven level fives appear all on screen at once to perform at a concert. Since they are all idols in this manga for some reason, don't question it. And they appear in an anything race, kind of like what we saw in the Diocese arc with powers being allowed. But this race involved a karaoke stage and a Claire eating stage, and lastly, a quiz, which Mugano won, meaning she won the thing overall. And of course, because of Shokuho's lack of physical fitness, she did not take part. It's also interesting to note that in terms of pure speed, Sogita was noted to be ahead of the others. So does that mean Sogita is faster than both Accelerator and Kakine? This is a parody manga and obviously non-canon, much to my disappointment, so I won't know for sure unless something like this happens in the novels. Now, there was also a time in canon where the level 5s did indirectly team up, which I want to discuss. So, if you haven't read New Testament Volume 7 and want to avoid spoilers, you have been warned. An Academy City scientist called Yakumi Hisako was planning to turn herself into a being made of AIM, like Kazakiri Hyoka and Iwas, and wanted to use the younger sister of Frenda, Fremea Savalun, to influence the AIM fields of different heroes who are compelled to help her in a Academy City. This was known as Agitate Halation, and was an effect that Fremea herself was initially unaware of, as Yakumi had implanted it into her, summoning the heroes to one place in Academy City, and trying to instigate the death of Fremea, and the heroes will riot and fight amongst themselves, all as a cover-up by Hisako to disguise her true motive. She expected around 7,500 heroes to show up at the Learning Core, an educational theme park in Academy City, but one thing she didn't expect was to attract the attention of all seven level fives at once. Mugano Shizori, the fourth ranked level five, was the first to appear along with her item colleagues Kinuhata and Takitsubo, with the objective of finding Fremea after being asked for help by Hamazura, and they were willing to defeat everyone in their way to accomplish that. Then Sugita Gunha, the number seven and part-time eco-warrior, goes full tree hugger mode and stops some trees from burning. Now that's what I call guts. Someone claiming to be the sixth rank level five, Aihan Etsu presents himself and starts fighting and charges towards the mob. While this was confirmed not to be the real Aihana Etsu, Aihana is known to let others take his identity to help benefit them and it was rumoured that the real Aihana was actually observing the events unfold at the Learning Core. The Misa Misa duo of Shoko Misaki and Misaka Makoto also arrived in search of Kamijo Toma who was also at the Learning Core. Shoko used mental outs to be untouchable, making the other heroes attack each other and not her, and Misaka herself got involved since Shokuho did not use mental out to protect Misaka. Typical. One of the best introductions of course was the appearance of Accelerator, who dropped in at high speed, blowing away 1,000 of the heroes instantly, stating that he couldn't overlook the darkness of Academy City being on the move again. He then spots Toma and agrees Toma is best suited to try and save Fremea, rather than himself, to which Accelerator says he will hold off all the rioters so Toma can do what he does best. Now that's what I call a bro. Romance. You may be thinking, where's Big Cat? Well, Kakine, the second rank level 5, does show up to help Toma fight a cyborg known as Renser, who can use all the powers of the level 5s. Yep, you heard that right. Maybe I should make a video on her. But yeah, Toma and Kakine teaming up is pretty hype. Or should I say Beetle 05 or Beetle 05, since this is the good version of Kakine and not the evil one who got defeated in the previous volumes. While sadly the level 5s didn't appear on screen all at once, it is pretty cool thinking that all 
seven level fives were at the exact same place at once. If we do assume the real Ihana was lurking around somewhere, I do hope the time comes we see all seven of them team up, like I said earlier in the video. If well executed, it could be one of the best moments in the series so far. Let me know what you think down below, and thank you to my patrons Fiamma Solos and Juan N for supporting the channel. Until next time.